All right, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna be watching Kill Bill Volume 1, the next Quentin Tarantino movie. I'm having a lot of fun on this Quentin Tarantino spree, so I can't wait to check out Kill Bill. Now, I've heard about this movie a lot growing up. It's a classic, I know that, and I'm excited that I'm finally getting to see it. Now, I don't know anything about this movie, but if I had to take a wild guess on what happens, this might be like a really aggressive prediction, so like, I don't know if it's gonna happen or not, but I think she kills Bill. If I had to guess, I think she kills bill just a guess <laughs> just a guess but I, that's what i'm assuming the movie's about emma thurman's character trying to kill bill so no no reason in particular why i think that but but you know actually fun fact I found I just found out Uma Thurman. The only other thing I've seen her in is Pulp Fiction now, but that's Maya Hawk's mom. That's Robin's mom. I can see it now. I can see it. Like now that that was pointed out to me, I can see it. It's, it's the eyes. But anyways, I'm gonna stop wasting time. We're just gonna hop right into this movie. If you'd like to watch the full length reaction, that will be available on Patreon as well as early access to the next Quentin Tarantino movies that I do will also be available on Patreon and YouTube membership. So click the join button down below. But anyways, let's get started. Do you find me sadistic? Guessing this is Bill, and whatever happened here is why she's trying to kill him. To know that there's nothing sadistic in my actions. Bill, hmm. it's your baby. Oh. All right, what is it? What an intro. The city of Pasadena, California. You are early. All right, she's here to- oh shit, she's throwing hands immediately, okay. All right, she came here to kill her. All right, this is her op. Ooh. I like how we have like no context on this. Like, I have no idea why they're fighting. She's here to kill her for a reason, but like, we just jump straight into this. Our, okay, her kid's home. Are we not gonna fight in front of the kid? We're gonna act like we're cool. The kids are gonna have so many questions, though. Yeah, please. Look, see the look on her face. She's like, please. Yep. Hey, I'm home. hey baby. Mommy, can I put you on the TV room? <laughs> oh, that good for nothing dog of yours? Got he did this, baby. Broken glass everywhere, and you could cut yourself. This is an old friend of mommy's. I ain't seen in a long mm. time. I'm guessing they used to be like training partners or something, but now they hate each other, so something went bad. Mickey, just asked you a question. The fuck is that bleep? I'm four. You know, I had a little girl once. Hmm. She'd be about four now. Did her girl die because of something that happened between them? But back when we were acquainted four years ago. Her name was Vernita Green. Her code name was Copperhead. Mine, Black Mamba. Do you tell? Wait, you know what I just thought of? What if this movie is based off of the failed TV show pilot she did in Pulp Fiction? That'd be sick. I don't think those are the same names as the characters, though. She said in Pulp Fiction. It's mercy, compassion, and forgiveness I lack. Not rationality. I know I fucked you over. Bad. I wish to God I hadn't, but I did. Even Stephen? I would have to kill you. Go up to Nikki's room, kill her. Then wait for your husband, the good Dr. Bell, to come home and kill him. That would be even, Bernita. That'd be about square. Look. I right, should do the same thing in Pulp Fiction. I beseech you for both on behalf of my daughter. Bitch. You can stop right there. <laughs> you and I have unfinished business. So when do we do this? When do you want to die? Or how about tonight, bitch? Splendid. <laughs> where? There's a baseball diamond where I coach our little league about a mile. We meet there around 2.30 in the morning. We have a sudden night fight. We won't be bothered. I don't think it's gonna happen. I feel like they could, they're gonna work together in this movie to kill Bill so then they can be even again or something. Very funny, bitch. Very funny. Ooh. Oh, fuck! I did not. I didn't suspect her she's gonna have a gun through the cereal. Oh my god, that caught me so off guard. But shit, she reacted perfectly and got her down. 
Well, it sucks for the child. Damn, I really thought they were gonna like make up with each other and like be cool and work together in the movie, but like, nah. <laughs> oh, yeah, Mickey's right here. Can I, you gonna kill Nikki too? Just throws a knife at her. That'd be, that'd be so tough. It's not my intention to do this in front of you. For that, I'm sorry. But you can take my word for it. Your mother had it coming. When you grow up. Okay, so you're not gonna kill her? If you still feel raw about it, I'll be waiting. <laughs> That's savage. Basically, if you want revenge for me killing her mom, I'll be waiting. Like, damn. Okay, well, now I'm curious to know what she did to fuck her over. Because she said that even if I killed you, your daughter, and your husband, then we'd be even. Did her entire family die or something? No. Oh, oh, she's going down the list. Kill everyone she used to work with. <laughs> Pussy wagon. <laughs> Chapter 2. The Blood Splattered Bride. Four years and six months earlier in the city of El Paso, Texas. Well, it's definitely working professionals. Mexican mafia hits one. Four, maybe five strong. Well, sure, instead of hand did this. She was a blood spattered angel. <gasps> yeah, she's alive. Drink a cocksucker ain't dead. Yeah, they zoom up there, man. Okay. So I guess everyone at her wedding just got murdered. By her teammate, by her former teammate. That must have been how she got fucked over. Definitely have heard this before. Dying in our sleep is a luxury that our kind is rarely afforded. Ooh, yep. That just saved her life. What's her condition? Comatose. Ellie, you're going to abort the mission. Oh, you don't uh. owe her shit! <laughs> Will you keep your voice down? You don't owe her shit. And I put a bullet in her head, but her heart just kept on beating. We've done a lot of things to this lady. But one thing we won't do is sneak into her room in the night, filthy red, mm. and kill her in her sleep. Okay, it's respectable. The reason we won't do that thing is because that thing would lower us i mean i guess but the fact that you're not killing her right here she's she's going to get her revenge and kill everyone she used to work with and kill bill and everyone else the fact that you just spared her life right here costed you your own life I hate mosquitoes dude ah! <laughs> my most masochistic bill Mm -hmm. It's your mission. Yeah. Alright, yeah, so Bill pulled up to her wedding, shot her, put her in a coma, and her baby did not make it. So. Now she's going on her revenge tour. It's revenge season. <laughs> I thought, okay, I, I'm digging this movie. I'm into it. I'm infested. Price is seventy-five dollars a fuck, my friend. Wow. You getting your freak on or what? That's fucked. Well, she's gonna kill him. So. By the way, not all the time, but sometimes this chick's cooch can get dry in a bucket of sand. If she dry, you just lube up with this, and you be <laughs> <laughs> Ah! ah! Really bit his lip off, huh? Oh, why, why can't she walk? What happened? Why, why are her legs still in a coma technically? Like her full nervous system hasn't woken up yet? I don't know if that's a thing, but I'm just, I'm guessing. Oh, right in the fucking Achilles. Ah, oh. dude, I forget what movie this was, but I walked into our living room once. I saw this movie was playing. Where's Bill? Oh, she's. Where's Bill? The... Please stop hitting me. Where's Bill? <laughs> I don't know who Bill is. Oh, oh shit! I'm from Huntsville, Texas. My name is Buck. She's remember every everything he said to her. Like even though she wasn't conscious, she probably still heard everything. And you came here to 
fuck. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> hmm, alright. It's his car. Fucker. I don't know what movie it was, but I just walked out in our living room and this movie was playing and it was like this dude trapped in a chair or something. Oh wait, P2? Fuck that movie. I hate that movie. I saw the movie when I was like fucking seven. The movie fucked me up. I can't look at, I could never look at Gore the same after. But anyway, this dude was like trapped in a chair or something and all, and like he was trapped in like this, in this room and it was like, okay, all you have to do is get up and walk out. And he's like, okay. And so he gets up out of the chair and both of his fucking Achilles were slit. And so he, he literally couldn't get out of the room because his Achilles were slit. And I was like, that is the most fucked up sadistic thing I've seen in a very long time. I have no idea what movie that was from. So if you know, please let me know. I'm not watching that, though. I'm not doing that. I want to say it was like Hostel or something. I don't know. Wiggle your big toe. <laughs> Wiggle your big toe. It's mind over matter. <laughs> I could see the faces of the cunts who did this to me. Mm -hmm. And the dicks responsible. Yep. Mem At a time when I knew the least about my enemies. She next? The first name on my death list, Oren Ishii, was the easiest to find. One manages the difficult task of becoming queen of the Tokyo underworld. Mm. One doesn't keep it a secret, does one? Technically, now that we're back in time, she's the first one she went after. So the one in the, uh, the girl in the very beginning was probably the very last one that she got. And that's like, that's probably how like the movie ends or something. It's like, yeah, I'm pretty sure there are already names like crossed out on her list as she left the house. Damn, she disappeared like a Batman. <laughs> mm, under the bed. Mm. Five, she did her part in the killing of nine innocent people, including my unborn daughter. Mm -hmm. Damn, nine people. In El Paso, Texas. Mm -hmm. But on that day, she made one big mistake. Mm. She should have killed ten. <laughs> first things first. Wiggle your big <laughs> hard parts over. Now, let's get these other piggies wiggling. 13 hours later. Damn, took her 13 hours to get her legs back. That's mean shit. <laughs> what else are you gonna do, I guess? <laughs> Chapter four, the man from Okinawa. Okay, so far, I'm really loving Uma Thurman. I think she's doing a phenomenal job. Like, I know I saw her in Pulp Fiction, but, like, this, where she's the main character, she's doing a phenomenal job. Oh, oh my God. Whoa. Ah! Oh, boom. So you ever had a sake bomb? Pretty good. Gets you buzzed immediately. You have a friend living. Not quite. Who <laughs> is he? Hattori Hanso. Hmm. Is that him? Yeah, but Japanese steel, she met katanas. And she wants one of his katanas. Go and kill everyone else. You like a samurai sword. I like this. She's he, she, he's gonna fight it, yep. Not for, I keep for aesthetic and sentimental value. Not for her to take. I have retired. Well, is he gonna come out of retirement for us? These are not for sale. Yeah. I didn't say sell me. Mm -hmm. I said give me. Why should I help you? Because my vermin. Is a former student of yours, I'd say you have a rather large obligation. Bill. It'll take me a month to make the sword. Alright, so he's coming out of retirement for us.
Yeah, he even knows how much of a problem Bill is and how badly he needs to be stopped. It's black and gold, just like your soup. He's, yeah, he's like inspecting it before he hands it over. To never do again. But for this one time, I'm up. I'm sympathetic to your aim. You. With no ego. This is my finest sword. God, God will be close. It's confident in it. I love like the the way he like hands it to her, you know, like handing it down. Super traditional about it, you know. I really like that. Just, and even how like how respectful she was of the katanas too. Like when she was looking at them, like she went to go grab it, and then she was like, "May I?" You know, it's just a lot of respect, and I I appreciate that. The young girl in the schoolgirl uniform is Oren's personal bodyguard, seventeen-year-old Gogo Yubar. <laughs> I'm not gonna say it. <laughs> Ooh. Not really, there's kind of a sword in my fucking intestines. Oh, God. The bald guy in the black suit and the Kato mask is Johnny Mo, the head general of Oren's personal army. I saw Johnny in the subtitle, I was gonna say Johnny Sins. <laughs> He's like hesitant to say it because he knows he's probably gonna die, but mm. Oh yep, yep. Oh my god. I mean yeah, I kinda saw that coming. Oh, <laughs> I encourage you from time to time, and always in a respectful manner, to question my logic. But allow me to convince you, and I promise you right here in She kind of looks like the grudge. It's just the bangs. I don't know if they'd let you bring out a katana on a plane. You definitely kind of have a back seat. Hi. Oh, the, I've heard this so many times. I've actually, the first time I heard this song was in um, a super old YouTube video. Yeah. Damn. First time I heard this was in a super old YouTube video back in like 2008, 2009. It was a Lego Batman video by Forest Fire 101. If you know, you know. Damn, she looks menacing. Mm, she knows. Oh, Bro, how did you know she was outside, like, like right there? Like, I mean, that just shows how good they are. They just have insane instinct. <laughs> how did you get up there? Wait, yeah, how did you get up there? Catch her lacking. <laughs> <gasps> oh! Send a message. She's not fucking around. She's gonna whack him. Oh, damn. Oh. Yeah, I guess her katana is sharper than his. Easy. All right, I want to see her and Gogo fight. So, Oren, any more subordinates for me to kill? One last one. Yep, her. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Gogo. I know you feel you must protect your mistress. It's not worth it for you. Walk away. Mm, 
this going to have to be a really good fight or it's just super quick? I, I don't know. Like, I know Uma Thurman is going to win, but like, I just don't know how. <laughs> Oh, okay. Lost your guitar. Ooh. Ooh, okay. How did that ball not kill her? It go right through her head. I guess, I guess there wasn't enough like momentum on it. Ooh. Oh, shit. Yep. Oh. Got her. I like Go Go. I thought she was really good. Imagine you're her and you just see everyone who works for you just get wiped out like that. Like, obviously, you're still the best one out of all of them, but like, still, you gotta be a little nervous now. <laughs> like, ah, oh, shit. Like, she could have done the same thing to it all. Wait, what the fuck? Where is this truck coming from? What the hell? Where are these motorcycles coming from? It is. You didn't think it was going to be that easy, did you? I've heard that too. <laughs> For a second there? I yeah. did. I kind of did. I kind of did. Yeah, I've heard that quoted so many times too. It was it. Damn, I guess Forest Fire really liked Kill Bill. Because <laughs> he's used so many sound bites from this and the songs in so many of his videos. Like really old videos. God damn. Yeah, just brought an army. What are you going to do now? Ooh, she just grabbed the dude's eye out. But yeah, they keep coming at her one on one, maybe two on one. This is making it like manageable. Oof. Damn. I love how this movie just exaggerates a lot of things. Like, obviously, them jumping off the sword is, like, no. But, like, it doesn't matter just because it's just, it's a fun movie. Who cares? And, like, the blood splatters when, like, you cut a limb off or like, cut the head off, they just go straight up. It's, I love how it's exaggerated. It, it really is in Quentin's movies. Like, he exaggerates a lot of stuff like that. What well, makes it fun, so. Yeah, see, like that. That was cool. I like how there's no music too during this fight, for the most part. So like, you could hear the sound design of every little detail. It's like their swings. You can hear like, oh yeah, this, this guy's pissing himself. Oh. Oh. <laughs> You're just toying with him. You're just toying with him. Uh, he's unarmed. Do you kill him? Yeah, technically, like, if you're unarmed, it's part of their tradition and honor. You can't kill them. I think. I don't know. I'm just guessing. That's how she just spanked them. <laughs> but he could be killed for giving up as, like, punishment. Because, like, you're supposed to die an honorable death. <laughs> this fucking song, too! <laughs> God damn, look at all these people. <laughs> Looks like the Civil War with how many people don't have limbs. Leave the limbs you lost. They belong to me now. Except you, Soapy. How is she not dead? How is she not bled out? She got her entire arm chopped off. Everyone who is alive, they're all gonna die because they're bleeding out. Because they literally just lost like a limb or multiple limbs. And the way like blood works in Quinn's movies, they would bleed out in like five seconds by how much blood just spurts out of their body at once. That's half the blood in their entire body just gone. Your instrument is quite impressive. This is Hattori Hanzo steel. Usotsuke! Dude, this is, a, this is a really cool room. So much detail in here. Damn, she looks... She looks really good. That's, a, that's such a cool shot. Ooh, oh, she got a good fall. Oh no! <gasps> no! 
Damn, she's good. You may not be able to fight like a samurai, but you can at least die like a samurai. Damn. I mean, Rose, she did pretty good up until she got to you, so you gotta give her credit for that. Nah, she's gonna pull some shit out. She's gonna pull out her secret move. <laughs> Everything you have. Oh, oh, you got her, you got her. Right in the stomach. This is a sick shot. I love the cinematography in this movie. Can't even imagine how painful that would be. You have her respect. Wakata. She feels kind of bad about it. Yeah, she she feels bad about killing her. Ikuyo. Hmm. Oop. <laughs> Got her scalp off. Damn. Damn, you sliced her clean. Just. Oh, bro, that was wild how, like, it showed her swing the sword, then it cut away, and then you just see her scalp fly across the screen. <laughs> that was fucking wild. Damn. Yeah, she may not have liked you. She may have hated you, but you gained her respect. Damn, well, that was not easy at all. Like, bro, we still got, like, two more to kill, huh? Like, this is gonna be fucking hard. We got 12 minutes left in this movie. There's no way she's killing Bill in this movie. I mean, that's probably why, that's why there's a second one. What are you doing, just gonna throw her? <laughs> oh, the hospital, why? I've kept you alive for two reasons. Mm. The first reason is information. Je ne te dirai rien! And every time you don't give me answer, I'm gonna cut a toe off. I'm gonna cut something off. Yep. If you had to guess what they've been doing, why she left you alive, and where I can find them. And the second reason is so you can. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Let Bill know. Well, um, unfortunately, the rental period just ran out at this part of the movie, but there's only like a minute left. The next part of the reaction is when Bill goes, she doesn't know her baby's still alive. Oh, she... Oh, she... No, she was not. She was not aware of that. Damn. Dude, Quentin Tarantino does not miss. <laughs> he does not miss. God damn. But all right, that was Kill Bill. Volume 1. All right, that was a phenomenal movie. Another hit by Quentin Tarantino. God damn, dude. I've been missing out. I've been missing out. So yeah, obviously, she didn't kill Bill in this one. You know, I kind of just said that in the intro because I thought that'd be like a funny thing to say, you know, like, well, the movie's called Kill Bill, so maybe she kills Bill. You know, I thought that'd be like a funny guess, but I knew there was a second one too, even before watching this, but I just decided to say that in the intro anyway. But yeah, it makes sense why the second one's also called Kill Bill, because if she did kill Bill in this, it's like, well, then what the what would the second one be about? Then like, why would they still call it Kill Bill? They'd have to like call it Kill William or something like that. All right, yeah, Uma Thurman, absolutely bodied this role she did such a good job dude I, I okay i really liked her in pulp fiction too but obviously her sample size in that movie was a lot smaller than this and like i, I knew from pulp fiction she was a good actress but i had no idea like how good she really was because she wasn't the lead role in pulp fiction obviously her being the lead role in this movie oh my god she is fantastic what what else has she done because i'm sure like i've heard of other things that she's done before i probably haven't seen what she was in percy jackson damn i remember being, i remember watching that in school movie 43 what is dude i think i've seen that i don't know sounds really familiar but i haven't really seen any of her other movies i've seen percy jackson but 
that's that's all I got, honestly. Yeah, I don't remember movie 43. I might have seen it, it might not have. But all right, yeah, we should definitely check out some of our other movies if you guys recommend any. But yeah, I love the way this movie was shot. It was just shot. It was such a good way, such a captivating way. In the end, right there, when they really emphasized her opponents, it, you could just feel that. You could just feel their shots. I swear, dude. And like when they were in like that secret room in the back right there, and they're emphasizing on the girl she was trying to kill. I don't want to butcher her name because I know I will, but. I don't know, just, there was just like a specific shot of her holding the short, of her holding the sword, and it was just, mm, it was, it was such a good shot. I'll put it on the screen of like what I'm talking about exactly. And like, I feel like I didn't really like talk during this movie. I didn't really like say much. I was just really enjoying the movie, if I'm being honest. I didn't want to like accidentally talk over anything. You know, I was trying to like wait for moments that like, they weren't saying anything so I could like say what I was thinking and stuff. But yeah, this movie had me really engaged the entire time and it was just such But anyways, that was Kill Bill. Comment down below if you thought about this movie down below in the comments. And if you liked the video, like the video. And thanks for watching.